Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you all fine uh, today we will do uh, the uh, question answers and the exercises of chapter number one the beauty of friendship uh, so here are the uh, five questions given in your uh, book right I will answer all of them so uh, let's move to the first question that is <clears throat> what is the main idea of the poem right as we discussed in this chapter that the main idea of the poem is about the value of friendship so see here i have written answers for you people the main idea of the poem is the importance and value of friendship <clears throat> <clears throat> let's move to the next question see the question is why can't we buy friendship right uh, this uh, in the poem it was discussed by the poetess why can't we buy friendship we can't buy friendship because it is a priceless gift it is more precious than gold and wealth <clears throat> right <clears throat> so friendship is very valuable gift it cannot be bought it is a priceless gift right priceless gift means anmol tofa right and it is a god gifted gift clear so it is more precious than gold and wealth uh, we can buy gold by money we can buy each and everything with the help of money but we can, can't buy friendship so let's move to the third question that is why does the poet give no importance to gold in stanza number two and three you know uh, we went through stanza number two and three over there the poet discussed about the gold so here the question is asked that why does the poet give no importance to gold in stanza number two and three so let's move to the answer its answer is that the poet gives no importance to gold because it is lifeless clear it means that it doesn't have life so uh, it can neither see nor hear it doesn't help in time of trouble right that's why the poet does not give any importance to gold in um, stanza number two and three because it is lifeless bejane <clears throat> clear so let's move to the next question that is what should we ask for from allah as a gift you know in the last paragraph we discussed uh, sorry last stanza we uh, read that see here the paragraph is also mentioned uh, so when you ask God for a gift be thankful if he sends not diamonds pearls or riches but the love of real true friend so here in the last line it is mentioned that see uh, come to the question what should we ask for from Allah as a gift we should ask for the love of real true friends see here it is mentioned so I have written here for you people we should ask Allah Almighty for the love of true and sincere friend is it clear to all people now uh, come to the last question uh, see that is question number five do you like this poem if yes give reason you know now this question uh, is uh, your assignment and this question you should uh, do by your own uh, i read the poem and uh, i gave the summary as well right and uh, now it is up to you that uh, do you like this poem if yes give reason right so definitely people have liked this poem uh, so just give one or two reasons right or just give a reason why do you like this poem so this is your assignment this uh, you will have to do it right so here are all the answers of these four questions that five uh, the answer of the fifth one is your assignment so uh, let me read it uh, word by word uh, answer number one the main idea of the poem is the importance and value of friendship clear number two we can't buy friendship because it is priceless gift it is more precious than gold and wealth precious means kimati expensive gold sona wealth right third the poet gives no importance to gold because it is lifeless lifeless means bejan having no life having no life clear it can neither see nor hear because gold does not have eyes to see or ear to hear 
it does not help in the time of trouble that is why the poet does not give any importance to uh, gold in stanza number two and three then the next uh, answer is that we should ask Allah Almighty for the love of true and sincere friend. Clear, whenever we ask Allah Almighty for a gift, so we should ask for the love of a true and sincere friend. See these four questions we did and that is question number five is your assignment. Clear. Uh, now let's move to the uh, um, the uh, match the meanings of the following words, right? Columns let's see here you know it's also on the same page page number 11 uh, match the columns the first one is priceless priceless means very costly or precious both manga both kimati both anmol right priceless very costly both kimati clear precious also means kimati expensive the second one is riches Riches means treasure, wealth, daulat we can say, right? So the third one is lifeless. Lifeless means bejan, having no life. Clear, I have mentioned number here as well. Then the next one is pulls. Pulls means moti, right? So uh, match this with gem. Gem also means the same. Fifth one is value, kimat, right? Kadar value worth worth also means the same right so these are uh, in fact these are synonyms synonyms uh, we call to those words having same meanings so here we are matching the words having the same meaning first one is priceless right it means very costly second riches riches means daulat right treasure or wealth lifeless having no life clear pearls means uh, moti gem right Ve next one is the last one value value means kadar kimat right so here we match it with worth uh, i hope uh, these exercises are clear to you the rest of the exercises uh, we will do inshallah tomorrow uh, take care allah peace